my name is Patrick Pheasant and I'm here today at the 2019 NIAS Management Conference. Um, I'm going to be interviewing Anna Brakovic, the General Manager of NIAS today, on leadership in ELT. So what does leadership mean to you? Um, leadership means uh, creating an environment in which people can, can follow and embrace and create the kinds of environments that they want to work in. Mm -hmm. In terms of quality assurance and leadership, that means being able to engage in, in continuous improvement um, and, and give the, the services to the students yeah. and to the teachers that, that they promised that they would and uh, that their students expect from them. So yeah. I, I hear you're saying it's a very active process? Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, leadership uh, is all about engagement mm -hmm. and, and engaging in a very positive way. Right. And so one of the themes of the conference is all also about influence. Uh, so to you, who are the influences in English language teaching? Everyone that has some stake in English language teaching. The, uh, the owners of businesses, uh, the students, mm -hmm. the parents, the families, uh, the teachers and other staff, um, and, they're, they're, and the, the families and wider community. Um, they all have a stake and they all have an impact and an opportunity to influence. Mm. And so I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing communi communities and connection. Um, mm. Any ideas on how we can connect uh, all of these influences together? Well, um, being involved in activities and um, uh, events like the NIAS conference is an excellent way in which all of our stakeholders can get involved mm. in um, in influencing and spreading the uh, the word about quality assurance mm -hmm. uh, and how to build quality partnerships mm -hmm. and provide quality outcomes to not just the learners themselves but to the whole community. Mm -hmm. And speaking of communities, you've just come out of a workshop uh, today at the conference. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how, how that went? Oh, it was a really great uh, opportunity to, to talk to our stakeholders, uh, our providers uh, from within Australia and also uh, outside of Australia. We had a number of providers from, um, from Southeast Asia mm -hmm. and we talked to them about uh, conducting self-assessments within their centres and talked about the value of assessment mm -hmm. and how it sits within the paradigm of compliance, quality assurance and, um, and reflective self-assessment. It was mm -hmm. really a lot of fun and we got a lot of great feedback from the participants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was great. And will they come back next year to do some pre-conference workshops? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Definitely they're coming back. They're coming back for more. And so we ran last year an authentic leadership workshop, which uh, yeah, I enjoyed a lot. Um, after that workshop, what, what have you learned as a result of that? Um, I've learned about the value of maintaining those connections. I think mm -hmm. what, what we did after that workshop was um, we were able to harness um, the, some of the activities uh, and, um, uh, and uh, yeah, some of the activities that we, we did during that, that workshop mm -hmm. and we were able to to uh, create a space um, within the online learning environment mm -hmm. um, in which to continue with the connections. So it was really just the beginning mm. of more connections through other means. Yeah, and it's been a great year. We've really seen that kind of idea spread and people yeah. are really kind of uh, going with developing their leadership skills. So, yeah, and people are it's talking about year. it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's something that I think um, people associate NIAS with is opportunities to, to learn and engage and, and, something, and continuously improve. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we've just heard from Anna Brakovic, General Manager of NIAS, about her views on leadership and how we can connect across the region and also ideas on who are the influencers and how can we continue to develop our influence in Australia and also in the ASEAN region.